Thank you for joining us for another series NRX accessory tutorial video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly install and remove a pop-out trip indicator into an Eaton Series NRX circuit breaker. Disclaimer: Before proceeding with the installation and or removal of any accessory, always de-energize the primary and secondary circuits. If you have a draw-out breaker, make sure it is levered out to the disconnect position. Finally, all circuit breakers should be switched to the off position and all mechanism springs should be discharged. Failure to follow any of these precautions could result in death, bodily injury, and property damage. To install the pop-out indicator, you will need all of the following tools and parts. One flathead screwdriver, one additional screwdriver, the type doesn't matter, pop-out indicator, either interlocked or non-interlocked, included with your parts kit. A pop-out trip indicator is designed to release and extend through the cover of the breaker, providing local visual indication that the breaker has tripped as a result of an overcurrent condition. The indicator is released when the trip unit has detected such a condition and sends an electrical pulse to the trip actuator opening the breaker and activating the trip indicator. To reset, simply press the red indicator back into the breaker until it locks in place. Eaton offers two types of trip indicators, an interlocking and a non-interlocking version. The interlocking indicator has a small switch that faces the back of the breaker when installed. The interlocking indicator forces the operator to reset the trip indicator before reclosing the breaker contacts. For applications where the breaker is not easily accessible to service personnel, Eaton offers a remote reset feature whereby applying a control voltage, the trip indicator can be reset from a remote location, thus allowing for closing of breaker contacts. The non-interlocking indicator does require a manual reset, but it does not prevent the breaker contacts from being reclosed. Because the significant difference in functionality exists, it is important that you familiarize yourself with the appearance of both indicators. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove the front cover. For this demonstration, we will be using a three-pole UL1066 fixed mount breaker. Before proceeding with the installation, you must remove the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, you must remove the four non-captive screws for the number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws to be removed. Make sure you save the screws for reinstallation. Once you've done this, pull down on the charging handle for easy removal of the cover from the breaker. In this section, we will show how to install the pop-out indicator. When installing the pop-out indicator, it is essential that you do not interfere with the overcurrent trip switches or other accessories. So to begin, locate the left accessory tray, put a finger on each end, and slide the tray outward approximately half of an inch. You do not need to disconnect any wires. You've removed the front cover and the overcurrent trip switch. Now it is time to mount the trip indicator. To do this, locate the mounting slot. The mounting slot is located on the mechanism slide plate on the right side of the Digitrip trip unit. Now, position the pop-out indicator at the top of the slot. The red cylinder should be pointing towards you and the red mechanism should be on top. Slide it down the mounting slot. Once the indicator is at the bottom of the slot, push the indicator toward the front of the breaker. When successfully installed, you will hear a click. In this section, we will demonstrate how to reattach the front cover. After you've completed the installation, you must reattach the front cover of the circuit breaker. 
To do this, first pull down on the manual charging handle, then position the front cover on the breaker. Make sure the cover fits inside the side sheet tabs. Once the front cover is properly positioned, secure it to the breaker with the four non-captive screws you've removed earlier. In this section, we will demonstrate how the pop-out indicator functions. When a trip in the circuit occurs, the trip actuator forces the indicator to pop out. Once the indicator has popped, charge your breaker. Once the breaker is charged, as indicated by the jarring noise you just heard and this display, you can hit the close button to close the breaker. This will work if you have a non-interlocking pop-out indicator installed. With this type, the pop-out indicator can be reset at any time. The breaker is already charged, as indicated by this display. If you have an interlocking indicator installed, the close button will not work until you reset the pop-out indicator. Do this by pushing the red button towards the breaker. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove a pop-out trip indicator from an NRX series circuit breaker. You can simplify the removal process with two flat blade screwdrivers. First, locate the small locking tab that holds the pop-out indicator in the mounting position. It is located on the inside of the side plate. Push the tab towards the rear of the breaker using one of the screwdrivers. Keep the tab pushed back and use the second screwdriver to push the body of the trip indicator upwards. You will access the body of the trip indicator from the other side of the plate as the locking tab. This completes the pop-out indicator tutorial. For additional tutorials and information on Eaton Series NRX Circuit Breaker, please visit us at eaton.com slash series NRX. For questions or further support, please contact your local Eaton sales representative.